Welcome back to the theme park wizard. We have some lovely photos. My chat did their weekly Disneyland update today and for a whole bunch of more photos and not just construction photos but a whole bunch of other photos for the update. You guys can definitely go on mychat.com and click the Disneyland update. Um, but right now we're just going to take some of the construction photos because they have some great aerial photography that they starting to do each week. And we're going to talk about five projects, four of them are highlighted here. Or, oh, just actually four projects. The Haunted Mansion, that's all you can see. But we're going to talk about Mickey Men's Runner Railway on the top left, the Fan Sand projects in the center, and the Pathway project in the top right. As well as the Ventures Campus in California Ventures, though. Stay tuned. We're going to start off here with the Pathway projects, though. As we take this next photo from the Matterhorn, and as you see, this is just a the kind of, again a wide overlook. But the Pathway Project is the, to the top right. You see the uh, the pavement's kind of ripped up. It's that white pavement, white-looking pavement <laughs> or cement. That's what we're going to zoom into right now. And that is the widening the Frontierland entrance. It's a one. It's a two hundred thousand dollar project, according to a permit filed with the OC register, and they are. I see the, they're kind of <laughs> repainting, widening the entrance, and there's even some dirt behind that fence at the hub. And they're working on those right now. Hope they can clear those hub projects up before the park reopens, because <laughs> it'll be a limited capacity, but still, it'll be nice to be able to walk across that bridge. They're widening it for increased. Uh, crowds increase capacity whenever the crowds get back to normal. And here's the project, the big project of the day. <laughs> the one I'd say with the most progress, making many was runaway railway. There is making many runaway runaway railway. There's an overview. It's obviously it's that big dirt plot that's bigger than Toontown, right behind Team Disney Anaheim. Team Team Disney Anaheim building. It's that green green building right by the freeway. As we take a closer look here, we see that footings, yes, footings have been installed. Those footings are those square things with the, the cones around them. Footings have been installed for the show building. And when all the footings are done, we can expect steel to go up relatively quickly after that. So that this project will be going vertical within a couple, I'd say, definitely within the next month. Potentially, if depending on how fast they're working within a couple of weeks. But the fact that the, there's already this many footings in, they got to put in footings for the entire project site. So definitely in the next two to four weeks, I'd say this project will be going vertical and that'll be really excited to watch. And hopefully in the next two to four weeks, um, we may be able to get a look at it um, if downtown Disney's reopen. <laughs> now that Orange County is in phase two, so definitely subscribe, look, um, and keep up to date with the channel. For more construction updates on when a possible steel and vertical construction will begin on making and when it's runaway railway. Moving on to the fan stand projects, the carousel is still probably most likely disassembled under that big cone like structure that's a tarp is over it. And Snow White this is getting a little less scary and a proper ending. And the scaffolding is still up there. Not sure if any work is actually going on, it's hard to tell. On these two projects, because it looks the same and most of its all of its interior work, so it's hard to tell if anything's going on. But I imagine it would be going on. Moving on to Avengers Campus, um, for our last set of photos of this update, there's a wide overview, and, and from what I can say, not much has changed. Or uh, the Avengers building looks like it has some concrete to at least on the wall facing uh, facing Cars Land. And the the wall kind of most visible to us. It looks like the the roof has it's like more black, so it has more of a finish on it. Um, so th I feel like the installation of the Quinjet on the the helipad or the airplane pad, um, <laughs> on the corner of the Avenger building, will happen momentarily. Hopefully, again in that next two to four week time period. Um, the rest in Hank Pym. Looks good. There's a the retaining wall or some kind of wall being built. Looks like it's still being built in front of that Spider-Man, which we're gonna get a good look at right now. 
looks fantastic and almost done. I don't think they do they have any more scaffolding on the exterior of the building? I don't know. It's quite possible they can open Spider Man before um the rest of land because that definitely looks the most far along. The project um or the the pavement is still dirt. Um from what will be the entrance of Avengers Campus to um, through Spider-Man to the main part of the land, but that's too, that's new. That takes a, like a week or two to to put uh, put back in <laughs> with a new type of pavement and elements over there. So I think that part should the Spider-Man and area should be done again. I'd say within potentially a month even, because <laughs> I don't think there's any scaffolding right uh, on the um, on the building anymore. At least on this part visible. <laughs> The yellow circle, the my shad circle right there, is to show that the uh, the maters that one side of it's still under refurb. The tractors are still missing, and I don't know if they if if it takes time to work on it, or if they just haven't been working on it. <laughs> um, maybe it's not even an essential construction project. I don't know. I feel like they don't want to have all the capacity they can, especially for the new social distancing measures. So I feel hopefully by the time the parks open, those will be back. Although we didn't know how long it took them to put the inside out spinner up, over a year to put that spinner up, re or re theme flex fires. So, at the same time, I feel like it's not that surprising that um, the first half of Maters is still not uh, done because they still have to do the second half of Maters, the second turntable. Um, that was at least the original plan. But uh, that's it for this short, kind of quick Disneyland update. Um, what do you guys think? Are you excited to get back to the parks? Downtown Disney, again, technically is leg legally allowed to reopen if Disney wanted to tomorrow. They can reopen it tomorrow with uh, or the, the Orange County now being in the full phase two. But no announcement yet. We should get an announcement for the Florida parks this week of Walt Disney World. So definitely subscribe to the channel for it because I'll do, of course, a breaking news update on that. Also do a video on when Downtown Disney reopens and I'll be going to Downtown Disney to film it and see how the new procedures look and all that good stuff. So comment below what you guys what do you guys think of this Disneyland update? What do you what project are you excited for the most? Do you think Spider Man will open before the rest of Avengers campus and would you be okay with that? And uh when do you think the refurbishments refurbishments will wrap up? Let me know all that in the comments below. Subscribe for more updates. Give this video a big thumbs up, give it a nice like and as always have a fantastic day.